obviously I planned this well and chose the best weather so I can come and pick it up from the town from a Krispy Kreme shop as always it's bloody raining I probably chose the busiest day to come and pick these up but yeah I'm in the queue to get my donuts so I just came to Krispy Kreme shop here in Guildford but they run out of some of the donut options so I have to go somewhere else and pick some more I guess no luck today I just came to Tesco because Tesco is a Krispy Kreme stand in here it turned into a donut chasing video in the heavy rain conditions and that's quite stressful because I waited for the last minute that I felt so hungry which was around lunchtime to decide to get out of the house and buy some donuts I just wanted to go to the Krispy Kreme shop get my donuts eat them show them to the camera and that'll be the end of it but no it turned into a almost an action movie for me here I'm like in the car chasing the rain trying to find the donuts and I'm very very specific as well I sat down and done my research their calories their macros and I calculated so that I can eat 2400 calories a day and I knew specifically what donuts I wanted and that shop that I went to didn't have it I will go there tomorrow and complete my set so I have to sit down again today and recalculate my macros because I'm gonna be eating different donuts that I first planned to but it's all right let's calm down and have some donuts shall we so Krispy Kreme comes out with seasonal donuts and it's nearly Christmas now it's around Christmas time and they have cherry parcel one which is one of my favorites that's the first one I'm gonna have today my blood sugar is quite low I need some sugar in me that's amazing they've done a good job very good job home sweet home you may not have seen much but I've gone through so much until I come to this point nothing went according to the plan nothing went as I wanted but it's all right let's be flexible anyway I'm left with 11 donuts because I had two cherry pies is it pie it's cherry pie sauce and rest I need to recalculate because if you look this was my planning so day one day two day three but I need to recalculate all of this and make it suit to my calories otherwise we'll end up eating more than necessary you know the smell is so good tasty I finished my calculations I'm going to have 2,399 calories day one same on day two with different donuts and 2401 calories on the day three also my shopping list for donuts and I'm all set now well I'm happy and I am hungry gonna have white chocolate parcel one which is another Christmas donut quite sweet it is half past five and I'm going to have two more donuts and I will go for some gym training so although my leg is slightly aching today I will try to do legs today this is the strawberry cream one and I will also have the chocolate ice one okay I put the camera down because honest with you can't enjoy eating while holding a camera in one hand I feel the sugar my blood sugar is going up quickly hopefully I don't get the sugar crash but that's the whole point I'm doing this at 2400 calories a day which is my cutting calories and I'll be losing on this so from around 90 kilograms I aim to go 87 point something or 88 maybe because I have excess water in my body at the moment because I've been eating for a while not just counting calories just I ate whatever I wanted to be honest with you and it is easy to overeat for me so it's good to restrict a little bit and I'm restricting it fun way only three days though don't do it more than three days you will lose muscle just saying let's go to the gym I did say I'm gonna do legs but there's definitely something wrong with my left leg I'm struggling to walk in get up the stairs I'll have to do upper today so I was supposed to train legs with my pain on my legs still going on I don't know what it is so I don't want to push it too much I will do back instead
In the end, I tried to do 30 minutes of cardio on cross trainer, but I struggled because of my left leg. Actually, just, just behind my knee. <sighs> Hard day at work. <laughs> now, time for post-workout before bed. I need to finish this and this proves you that meal timing doesn't matter. I'm telling you, just eat whatever you want, whenever you want. Just count the quantity. How much are you eating? How many calories? What are the macros? Obviously, this is uh, just a challenge for three days. I wouldn't do anything like this more than three days. It's harmful for your body. But I'm just saying you can have donuts and still lose weight. What do you think of 10,000 calorie Krispy Kremes in a day challenge? If you want to see that, comment down below and let me know. So if you look at the donut planning sheet, I will have the three tomorrow morning anyway. So I'm going to put them in the fridge to keep them as fresh as possible. And these two are in containers. I'm going to put them in freezer because I'm going to eat them on the last day. They're going to go off. I have done this before. Trust me on that. You just put it in the microwave for a little while and it comes out as warm, nice donuts. That's perfect. Good morning. This is day two. Today I have lost a little bit more weight, 700 grams down already. As expected. Now I'm on Krispy Kreme's website. I'm trying to act smarter than yesterday and I'm checking on the donuts they have available at store. And I found out that the chocolate ice one is not available to choose from the stores. You can only get it in a dozen box, um, not in custom box. That is a shame. So I had to redo my calculations and come up with plan b that's my plan b shopping list so i got rid of chocolate ice one and strawberry gloss one on the last day replaced it with original glaze and chocolate sprinkles one that lowered down my calories by around 20 calories so it comes at 2383 uh, in total but it's close enough to 2400 i'm happy with that Let's go to the shop and get some donuts. We'll have two strawberry gloss, one apple pie, one penguin, one reindeer, two chocolate custard ones, one raspberry glazed, two cherry parcels, one original glazed, one chocolate sprinkles, please. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you very much. I finally got my donuts. I'm happy. And there you go. By the way, got matching top with matching shoes. So if you like trainers, Give this video a like. What's the worst that can happen? I appreciate my shoes, I say they're lovely. I come out into pissing down rain. Everything is getting wet, including donuts. Gotta keep them safe. They're more important right now. Puddle, jump over. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go back home and have the first couple of donuts that are in the fridge already waiting for me cooled down in terms of my legs leg update my leg is still aching so i won't be doing legs unfortunately i was looking forward to the weekend because the weekend is my second leg day of the week but no so don't know what's wrong with it i don't think it's very serious i will just wrap it up and rest it i haven't done anything wrong i haven't gone any heavy i haven't even done leg days for the last couple of days anyway so i don't know what's wrong but yeah so i will keep you updated tomorrow on that as well but i'm hungry now gotta have some breakfast how about donuts for breakfast look how cute is that <laughs> i just took the thumbnail picture while i'm here i'm gonna have the three i think lotus one is everybody's favorite somehow i don't mind it it's all right Quite good. So yesterday I've done back. Uh, today I can't do legs, unfortunately. I'm gonna do triceps and biceps, just accessory day. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. So let's start with triceps. Had a good arm session, but overall my mood is actually quite good. I was happy and cheerful. 
I wrapped up my leg because I was struggling to walk, but other than that, it's not a bad scene to come home to this. This is what I'm gonna have for the rest of the day. I'm gonna start with the apple pie one. Something about it that doesn't appeal to me. It's a nice looking green donut. Uh, has a hole in the middle and I put some sugar nose in the middle. These are pretzels. It is good, but I don't think if it's worth 297 calories. The penguin one, a little cutie. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna have strawberry gloss ring donut. This is one of my favorites as well. This one is 244 calories. And I'm gonna eat this before bed. That was lovely. Beautiful. Now, when you finish this, you kind of think, okay, can I have the main meal now? Because it's quite sugary, quite sweet. Then you realize that's the main meal. Sad. That's the end of day two. So far, so good. I'm looking forward to day three and weighing myself. I'm also planning on weighing myself on the day four to see the full effect of this diet. I think my weight is gonna go even lower on day four. Yeah, we'll see. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning from day three, the last day of donut challenge. I have microwaved those two for 10 seconds only. They have been defrosting overnight. So they should be perfect to go for the breakfast. Mm. Wow, amazing. Since I microwaved it, it's quite runny inside. So that was dream cake. This one is salted caramel cheesecake. Don't know why it's called cheesecake. It's just salted caramel donut with cream in it. Wow. If only they had protein in them, I could do this every day. Coming to the end of day three, I'm about to head to the gym right now. I have already eaten five donuts off camera, so that makes it seven donuts in total. I have left one last one. I think it's the chocolate sprinkle one, just before that for a good night's sleep. Meal timing is not important yet. I don't suggest going to bed after eating for a family of five. You should give it some time to digest. You should always have something small before bed so that you don't go to bed hungry or starving. Eating donuts for three days was the most suggested idea by everyone. But the challenge here was not to overeat the donuts because they are very easy to down during the day and you don't even realize the calories you're getting in through just a little circle of a dough. It's a shame that I couldn't do squats and deadlifts during this challenge as I'm on a high carb diet. That would be a great opportunity to test my strength. But unfortunately, because of my leg, I couldn't do that. My leg is feeling so much better right now, but I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna rest it a bit more uh, because I have no idea what happened to it. I was just walking uh, to the gym and all of a sudden it was like a stabbing pain and I had to stop. I'm not gonna do any weight training today. All I'm gonna do is walk slowly on treadmill for an hour. I am in desperate need of some protein, which I'm looking forward to my cheese in the morning tomorrow. I'm gonna have it just after weighing myself for the last time and I will update you tomorrow morning. See ya. Good morning from day four. This was another experiment just to show you that fat doesn't make you fat, sugar doesn't make you fat. It's all about how many calories you take in versus how many calories you burn off. Having said that, whatever you eat will affect your mood and your hormones, hence affecting the long-term sustainability of your diet. I have lost plenty weight in these three days, including today actually, and I would keep on losing if I was to continue this diet, but then my body will start burning off my muscles as it needs amino acids to live on. You know how it ends, you gotta like, share and subscribe, and I will see you next time. <laughs> this is take number, I don't know, six, five? So what happened? Every time I pressed on record, it heavily rained. I couldn't even hear myself speak, so I had to record again and again. Then I ate the first donut, checked the footage, the camera froze, it didn't record it. Like perfect. So what I ended up doing was to go down again and buy another single donut 
the cherry parcel one uh, to record it all over again because that's my favorite one. It has to be on the camera. That's amazing, Donna. I probably chose the busiest day to come and buy some Krispy Kremes. I'm like stuck in the 